for the video just press the like button share the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to all the updates about the new videos hello guys let's learn today how to examine patients so let us start now first of all you will check for higher mental functions so this is the patient who is sitting cooperatively which is conscious alert and cooperative which will tell about mental status speech you will examine cranial nerves 1 to 12 you will examine built and notation are important things but the difference you should be aware of the built is skeletal framework of the patient like this the nutrition is proportion of the soft tissue structure in relation to bony structure like this so decubitus is position of the patient in the bed so the patient is like comfortably in the bed the pallor pallor you know the indication of anemia it is pale pallor of the skin now you should know where to look for the pallor it is lower palpebral conjunctiva like this mucous membrane of the lips and the cheeks this nail beds like this and palmar crevices these are the spaces or the places where you look for pallor you will also look for ictus and the jaundice so what is jaundice it is yellowish discoloration of the skin and the mucous membrane it occurs due to presence of excess bile pigment in the plasma now again we have to look for jaundice these are sclera of the eye <clears throat> this is white sclera of the eye nail bed and the lobule of the ears you know that this is the lobule of ear here you look for jaundice tip of the nose that is important sight under surface of the tongue that is also important sight now you should also look for cyanosis so what is cyanosis it is bluish or purplish tinge of the skin and the mucous membrane it results from the excessive amount of reduced hemoglobin in the underlying blood vessels so peripheral cyanosis is due to poor perfusion of the blood vessels so the blood vessel perfuses poorly which give to give rise to peripheral cyanosis the central cyanosis is a reduction in the oxygen of the arterial blood so it is defect at the heart of the lung level now there must be at least 5 g of reduced hemoglobin for cyanosis to be observed so it may not be present in severe anemia you must be aware of this because at least 5 g of reduced hemoglobin should be present so look for peripheral cyanosis where to look for nail bed tip of the nose skin of the palm toes you know that the central cyanosis should be look at the tongue nail bed tip of the nose skin of the palm and the toes so clubbing you should also look for the clubbing this is what this is bulbous enlargement of the soft part of the terminal phalanges with both transverse and longitudinal curving nails see, see here it is bulbous enlargement and it is curving laterally also and transversely also now it is due to interstitial edema and dilatation of arterioles and the capillaries there are four gradings the fourth one is the fourth grade is called chamberoff sign it is disappearance of the diamond shaped gap between the nail when the fingers fingers are opposed so this is in normal condition you will see a diamond shaped structure but loss of this is called as the chamberoff sign now lymphadenopathy is also very important it is what it is disease of the lymph node in which they are abnormal in size number and consistency you can see here is the lymph node which is cervical lymph node and also you have to look for edema it is collection of fluid in interstitial spaces or the soft tissue now we come to the general physical examination so you examine the patient from head to toe local examination like if you are want to uh, concentrate on stomach or sorry abdomen this is the abdominal examination systemic examination in rest of the examination except the local examination provisional diagnosis you have to make then you have to make a differential diagnosis then you have to make a final diagnosis gpe that is general physical examination or general survey what are the points these are mental status you know that built and nutrition you know that attitude and decubitus the patient position the faces the performance status pallor ictus cyanosis clubbing lymphadenopathy edema you know that neck veins should be examined blood pressure should be taken pulse should be taken now respiratory rate should be taken temperature should be taken and obvious deformity if present should be noted down so we usually start a sentence when we present a case with 
द पेशेंट इज वेल कॉपरेटिव ओरिएंटेड टू टाइम प्लेस एंड पर्सन लाइंग और सिटिंग कंफर्टेबली इन बेड लाइक दिस वेल बिल्ट और थिन बिल्ट यू नो दैट गुड और पुअर न्यूट्रिशन दिस इज न्यूट्रिशन पल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इज सेवेंटी टू पर मिनट ब्लड प्रेशर इज वन ट्वेंटी बाई एटी एम एम एस जी दिस इज हाउ यू एग्जामिन फॉर पल्स इट शुड बी बाई टू फिंगर थ्री फिंगर्स द पिकल इज अमोनिक फॉर टेलरिकेरस साइनोसिस क्लबिंग लिफेडिनोपैथी एंड एडीमा सो दिस इज द पिकल बट द स्पेलिंग इज डिफरेंट नेक मीन्स यू शुड बी एग्जामिनिंग दिस रेस्पिरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज फोर्टीन पर मिनट दैट इज थोरेको एबडोमिनल और any ducubitus or obvious deformity local examination you will be examining the affected reason inspection is just look at the patient and just try to make a diagnosis or analyze the patient and tell patient it is feeling by hand of the affected part percussion you know that you tap the uh, affected area and get a clue about some diagnosis auscultation listening to the sound with the stethoscope now systemic examination is what examination of system other than mentioned in the local examination examination of abdomen what will you see position of the umbilicus presence of scars or dilated veins visible peristalsis or pulsations herniation or uh, genitalia so this is the abdomen exam respiratory examination is shape and movement of the chest respiratory rate note on percussion normal added breath sound are also recorded Cardiovascular examination: There should be heart rate, S1, S2, apex beat, any pulsation, any thrill or any murmur should be examined. Examination of nervous system will include higher mental function, motor as well as sensory examination. Any history and examination, you have to make a provisional diagnosis. So you have to think about the provisional diagnosis. You, if you make a rare diagnosis, you are really correct. So do not. make a diagnosis of this tiny star when you can have these things as your differentials after routine and special investigation you have to make a clinical diagnosis that should be conclusive thank you so much for the video just press the like button share the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to all the updates about the new videos